Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, where I already went a bit ahead to meet with Alphen and the others. And where we want to look deeper into uh, uh, Labyrinthos and what the forum is up to here. Uh, don't worry about me, I'm hale and healthy. In fact, I'm beginning to suspect that... Uh, and now let's discuss it later. But the investigation demands our undivided attention. Were you caught in mist on your way here? The spoilers keep the air humid, so the habitat feels as close as possible to a natural forest. This is the foremost material archive in Charlian. I should love to explore its treasures sh shelf by shelf, but I fear we have little time for such indulgences. Behold, the Archeon. As Numenon serves as Charlian's literary archive, so does this structure house the city's wealth of material data. The architecture too is similar. The building you see is merely the upper entrance, an access point of a vault carved into the cliffside itself. Within those vast rooms are stored countless samples and specimens, as well as the detailed records which describe them. In a the manner of speaking, the Archeon contains a physical history of Charlian's unwavering dedication to the accumulation of knowledge. Deeper into the maze. Well, we won't learn anything of value standing out here. Let us proceed into the main building and speak with a custodian. Gem Trader. In the market for something on the Rara side? I got a whole village's worth of surplus from the Archeon, some of which can even be yours for some bicolored gemstones. Now we can trade here. And I buy a map. No. Greetings. We are here to peruse the Archeon's vaults. Peruse? You are clearly not gleaners then. Might I ask your affiliation? We belong to the students of Baldessian, but um, is that relevant? I was given to believe that the vaults, was, those open to the public at least, were open to the public. Ordinarily, yes. That would be the case, but at present, however, access is restricted. Only persons directly involved in the reorganization effort are permitted to enter. Not us, then. I suppose we had better move along to another facility. This building has a lift which connects us to the middle tier, yes? Might we at least make use of that? That service has also been suspended, I'm afraid. For the time being, priority has been given over to the conveyance of inventory. What? So this is as far as we can go? I apologize for the inconvenience. Please come again after our restructuring operation is concluded. Uh, by that time, it will be too late. We are so close to getting answers. We need to rethink our approach. Let us step outside for a moment, shall we? Students of Baldessian. <laughs> the foe must be wary of exposure indeed to so heavily restrict the use of public institutions. If they're going to close the facilities, then they ought to announce that the students must be furious. Labyrinth is constructed in the shape of a mortar. This upper layer is called the Outer Circuit, and the 
medial socket lies one tick below us. We had an impasse. As we have no other leads, I should like to pursue this one further. But I doubt that our stone-faced custodian will be swayed by heartfelt pleas. We must, we must seek another means to access the lower levels. It is likely that the people in this area are involved in restructuring in one way or another. If we had to ingratiate ourselves, they might allow us to accompany them on the lift. Let us go around. Surely someone is in need of a few strong backs to lighten the load. Alright, let's look around. The Muse Student. Am I taking the lift? Oh no, we are just students. They won't let us into the Archeon, even though we found... Actually, we have no idea what it is we found. There's no record of such a creature anywhere, but it was wandering around tranquility, and so we thought to donate it to the vault. Hey, quick. Oh, that's a little squeal, don't you think? Anyway, I suppose we'll have to take care of it until the Archeon is open again. Bone-weary worker. What's that? Take you down on my lift with me? Sorry, but not a chance. I've been up and down all day and only now have I finally found a spare moment to rest. I did see a Gleena fellow heading out the gate there though. Shouldering a large pack, engaged in some manner of task. Maybe he'll be headed down below after he's done with um, whatever he's doing. Hmm. Oh, down there. And it's Aaronville. Quiet. You frighten it away. Ah, it's you again. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm in the middle of another task. The cloud can I need to capture us close. Very close. Can I help you? You wish to help me with this too. You spend your time in unusual ways, my friend. Still, two hunters are generally better than one. Very well. The, cap the canal here is a common gathering spot for birds of all kinds. But the one I'm after today is the hornbill. Its feathers are green and its cry a distinct car. Single dart and shoot it with a sleeping dart. The effects are short lived, so I line wait down by the riverbank to claim our quarry. Be sure to hit the right one. So green and car. And it's a blowed out minigame. Of course. Quack quack. Car car. Don't drown, please. A fair shot. Nicely done. Let me trust this one up and I'll make my way over to you. There you are. 
Any new revelations? So you met with that gleaner again, this time to capture a hornbill. I understand catching and bringing in creatures from the outside, but what's the point of chasing after ones already here? Oh, it's a simple thing, really. Occasionally, we remove specimens no longer needed for study, or those we've had difficulty raising. But we can't simply turn them loose. Safely returning such creatures to their native habitats is another facet of a cleaner's duties. Mm -hmm. But not in this case, I'm afraid. I've been asked to bring the bird below. The restricted section in the lower levels of Labyrinthos. Open only to a select few researchers hand-picked by the Forum. Oh, that sounds interesting. The projects down there are the subject of rumor and hearsay. Forbidden magics. Advanced technologies that can never be allowed to fall into outside hands. Even Archons are not privy to the truth. Those who are, the researchers involved in this secretive work, are not permitted to walk freely in the city, and are instead required to live in isolated quarters. What could a facility subject to such strict security protocols possibly need with a hornbill? An... an experiment? Possibly. I wasn't afforded an explanation. Judging by the requisition list given to me and my colleagues, I doubt it's for any kind of advanced research. I'd be more inclined to believe we were making preparations to migrate to the south. Mericidia or thereabouts. What? Why would you say that? Much of the flora and fauna we were asked to procure could serve as reliable sources of sustenance. They're hmm. comparatively hardy species, too. Able to endure harsh climates. And among them are specimens known to be effective in improving soil quality and purifying water. When you put it that way, migration does sound like a reasonable assumption. So maybe the forum's plan is to flee somewhere? Somehow? Another exodus? That's all it is, though. An assumption. Through our tasks, we gleaners glimpse only bits and pieces of the Forum's plans. Our prime concern is that our requisitions, be they living or otherwise, are properly preserved for the knowledge of future generations. Now, I really must be going. I regret that I cannot reward you as you deserve. It's fine. Perhaps you might reward us after a fashion, then. It is imperative that we reach the lower levels. And seeing as you are already set to descend with your assigned cargo, mayhap we could accompany you as your... assistants. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Once the animals have been prepared for transport, we send them down separately via the lift. I will, of course, follow after to make my report, but I can hardly pass you off as porters when there's nothing left to carry. Indeed. Pray forget I said anything. How do you feel about climbing? If you've strength and the courage to brave it, then there is another way down. This path leads to the 33rd facet, a mine shaft excavated during one of our expansions of Labyrinthos. While I cannot guarantee that the passage is safe to traverse, it should provide access to the meteor circuit below. I never even knew such a place existed. Thank you. This is the perfect solution. You're quite welcome. But consider yourselves warned. 
If the going proves too treacherous, you'd do well to turn back. I bid you good day. Well, turning back is hardly an option, not when we've come this far. Let's go and take a look at this mine shaft. Huh. Elevator is out of a question, so we take the mineshaft. Media circuit, which Aaron will mention, is a tier directly below us. Unlike the lowest level of a labyrinth with its, with its rigid security, one can usually roam the middle layer quite freely. Let us see what we might find. I never would have noticed this cave on my own. Thank the scholar that Aaron will knew of it. I bet you were there to persuade him to share. I don't agree. I took a quick peek inside, but it's awfully dark in them. So careful with your footing. This must be it, the entrance to the mineshaft. It is faint, but I hear something moving within. Creatures. Creatures home there by the researchers, I've, you think? You think? Creatures home there by the researchers, you think? Well, slavering beasts aside, we will need to watch our footing. We should tighten our straps and such before we continue. Mammoth what it may be, this shaft was designed to resemble a natural cave system. Heed Aaronville's warning and do step carefully. Assuming everyone tightened their straps and checked their gear, then I say we head on in. Given the terrain ahead though, it might be wise to leave some distance between us. We don't want to be stumbling over each other if it comes to a fight. Take it slow and don't forget to check your surroundings from time to time. We can meet up again at the other end of a tunnel. Hmm. We need to take this path. Despite this one being shorter. But more steep. I'm way over level for this stuff. Yeah, 
nicht, oder? Ein Mannschaft was sind fest auf mit für Caps. Haben sie ein Research Project gewonnen? I suppose they are a most unusual creature. Why did they develop such long limbs? And all they do is shuffle about narrow tunnels. I was being careful, I swear. The slope was steeper when I fought and I lost my footing for a moment, that's all. I'm not injured if you don't count my pride. Desiree, did you know Kryl almost took a tumble back there? She can't possibly still be dizzy from the lift. Everyone seems to have made it through without incident. Nothing of consequence at least. And as promised, the tunnel has delivered us into the medial circuit. As I recall, this tier is where they keep a wide variety of samples for agricultural production. If Aaron World's assumption holds true, that specimens are being collected in preparation for a great migration, then we should see evidence of such plants in the area's research projects. Let's follow the path to the nearest farming facility and see what we see. My memory of this place is a touch hazy, but if we keep to the path heading north, then we should eventually arrive at a farm of some kind. Oh no, garlic! Ah! Vapes. Ah, now I know where we are. This is Mary L. Agronomics. Labyrinth was host host to a wide variety of vegetation, which allows us to conduct studies on cultivation methods utilized in foreign lands. And this is and it is this facility which coordinates and oversees these efforts. The fruits of their research go to feed the labyrinth for colleagues or so I hear. My notable successes might make it to the Agora. Food so exotic you'd be hard pressed to guess your origin, let alone how they might taste. Indeed, mystery vegetables without a name, only a list of nutritional benefits scribbled on a card. I see no gleaners hereabouts, yet these workers seem to share that same sense of urgency. It is possible they know something of a forum's plans and their underlying motivations. Worth looking into, wouldn't you say? And see what you can coax from the workers. The rest of us will do the same or cast about for useful clues. Jibkin? Oh, hello there. We weren't expecting visitors. Not with you of a lift being restricted. How did you make it down here anyway? Through the tunnels? The mineshaft, you say? Well, you're a much hardier soul than I. Under normal circumstances, I reward such tenacity with a guided tour of the fields. But I'm afraid the foremast is filling all the lists a mom long. Massive yet detailed requests, literal vagal lots of crop samples and hardly any time to put them together. When I first heard of this grand reorganization, I assumed we would be shuffling about old stock to make room for new. Then came the orders for ridiculous quantities of seeds we've already thoroughly researched. Passing strange, eh? I pressed for an explanation, 
It was met with vague assurance that, that all would be revealed in due course. Not the most satisfying answer. So they probably also don't know any details. Antofa's card holds the harvest meant for the larders here. Nothing out of the ordinary. A field full of red vegetables being left to rot on the vine. What a single picker hard at work. Clearly pursuing readily available fresh food is not the foremost priority. And so we spent years researching these high yield cultivation techniques? Not sure if Alvino is asking the right questions, but hey. Uh, do I have ought to be taken down below? Uh, more than I can carry and then some. Most of our stock is sent off via the cargo lift, but some has been earmarked for aerial transport, hence a stack of crates atop the hill over there. God's holding the lot up that slope was a job and a half. I took a moment to survey the surrounding area. There are several other facilities nearby we can investigate if we fail to learn all of value here. The infamous grapes, even if they have been fixed. When Endwalker began originally, they were. Well, these look relatively good already, but the, the grapes in the beginning of Endwalker looked like they were from a Nintendo 64 game, so from 20 years ago or something. From 20, 25 years ago. And. Considering how they would, the cutscene put them on display, that looked a bit ridiculous, and players kept memeing about them for quite some time. What crops are we raising? Well, as you can see, this one is a variety of grape. Only needs a good source of sunlight to grow, and the conditions here are nothing short of perfect. Hardly surprised, given that it's native to a particular locale, in the very place upon which Level Windforce was modeled. A region in the south of Isabad. It boasts remarkable habitat diversity, allowing for myriad flora and fauna to thrive. Chilly peaks in the north give way to swaths of temperate plains, which in turn transition into a hot, humid coastline. Such bountiful territory is ever contested, as you might expect. It used to be called Corvos before the Imperials renamed it Locus Amenos. So, grass home. The form saw it not as a prize, however, but as a researcher's ideal environment, one whose climates we strove to recreate within the confines of Labyrinth Force. It since provided a rich foundation for countless experiments in cultivation. Were it crates they mentioned? Or the area transport? Hmm. No matter. Up here? Stack boxes. The labels on these crates tell the story of their contents. Bundles of common seeds and saplings, accompanied by sheaves of reports. And what is that? Yeah, flowers, but... Oh, 
Hard to look away, isn't it? But they're more than pretty flowers. Heart blooms are attuned to ambient emotion. How so? <sighs> you don't seem convinced, but believe me, it's true. This ashen grey, for instance, it mirrors the anxiety and urgency of those working nearby as they rush to fulfill sudden orders. Intense feelings like those spur the petals to change colour. Bright glowing hues in the presence of joy, dark subdued shades for frustration or despair. Yet even with the collected wisdom of Charlian at our disposal, we've yet to identify the underlying principle of this empathic effect. And there are other mysteries besides. Although the flower is extraordinarily long-lived, its low reproductive rate has made it difficult to find younger populations growing in the wild. With too few sightings to map its distribution, and no closely related species to track, we've been unable to pinpoint its land of origin. And to further complicate matters, every culture, even dimly aware of its existence, has given it a different name and mythos. Our attempts to study it via the historical record have been an exercise in frustration. I can imagine. Although it sounds interesting. As an avid botanist myself, I should one day like to unravel the heart bloom's secrets. But I'm afraid other duties must take precedence. I will leave you to your thoughts. And I leave you to your work. Have you learned aught of interest? A flower that reacts to one's feelings? Strange. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. This is all very fascinating. But as it stands, we fail to gain any significant insight into the forum's undertaking. Indeed. While there is certainly enough activity to support Erinville's supposition that a priority has been placed on improving food production, unfortunately for our investigation, these workers were never informed as to how their duties serve the master plan. <sighs> if only we could interrogate the forum members directly. Isn't that the entrance to the Archaean? And where's Erendil? Look, there! I think that's Erendil. A little difficult to tell from here, but, but I think you're right. He did say he was coming down to make his report. Erendil receives his orders from the Forum. Would it not follow, then, that the superior to whom he reports is a forum member, or at least a close associate? Yes. You mean to eavesdrop on their conversation? <laughs> what of the risks? Ours alone to bear. We won't interfere with Erinville's work, nor will he be implicated as an accomplice. If you're not comfortable taking part, I can do this alone. Nay, I said myself that I wished to know Father's intentions, and no answers will be forthcoming should we simply ask nicely. 
We can apologize later, should it come to it. Right now, we need every crumb of information we can get our hands on. Consequences be damned. It might be best if you came along as well. In fact, we should all... File? Cryo? Hmm? Oh, yes. That certainly sounds like a plan. I'm glad you agree. I'm not certain Quail knows what her plan actually is. Quickly! Erinville is on the move. We need to get closer before we lose him. Almost. I can almost reach you. Who? Who's talking to you, Quail? Remember, last episode she mentioned she, she was hearing a voice. So. Let's get after him already. We've waited too long as is. If it's wrong to spy on Arizonville, helpful as he's been, but what other choice do we have? Forgive me, my attention has been elsewhere. We were following Arizonville, weren't we? Is Quail feeling unwell? I've never seen her so distracted. Keep an eye on her, but keep moving too. We cannot let our quarry slip away. Alright, but I end this episode here and next time we follow Aaronville. Until then, I'm Ace and don't get lost. <laughs>